Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and I'm back with another tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to look at uh, different properties in object-oriented programming inside of classes. Um, we're going to be looking at the public, protected and private property uh, types. Now let's go ahead and create a new class. I'm going to create a, oh sorry, I'm going to create a class and this is going to be called bank account. Um, and inside this class we're going to um, address some properties so we're going to create some properties in here so let's say or we're going to create one and we're just going to chop and change around with the public protected and private so let's say uh, public um, balance equals um, 3500 so this is a balance of a bank account um, I've shown this in my previous examples in some of the other tutorials using this code here um, which we create a little bank account um, or we were either able to de deposit and withdraw money um, and also uh, apply it to multiple users so if you haven't watched that tutorial already go back and watch that and you'll probably understand this one a lot better so our properties um, well our property for now is balance now let's go ahead and create a um, method so I'm going to say public function um, display balance and what this is going to do is it's simply going to return um, this balance. Now, if you haven't already come across this, this here is a representation of the class as a whole. So what we're doing is we're taking the balance, and bear in mind we're not using a dollar sign here. Uh, we don't use a dollar sign when we're taking a, a property value from a class. So we're saying out of this class as a whole take out the balance so we're returning this balance value which will uh, be equal to 3500 so now what we can do is outside of our class we can create a new instance of it so let's say Alex equals new bank account capital A there remember it's case sensitive uh, so Alex equals new bank account we don't need the parenthesis there and then what we can do is we can say echo Alex display balance okay and remember the parenthesis because we're dealing with methods so we're echoing out the uh, displayed balance of um, this account so let's go uh, over to our, our browser and check this out okay so you can see that we in our browser we have the value 3500 that has been uh, written back to us so what we've essentially done is use this uh, method here to return this value here this property value and then display it using uh, by calling the method if you like so now what happens if this data type is changed to um, private for example now let's go back to our page and just with this simple change when we refresh this time um, oh okay right I see why so what we've basically oh, let's, let's, let's go ahead and change this program around so we've got public balance to start with um, what we're doing in here is um, we're displaying the balance but what we can do okay so what we're going to do is we're going to instead of use this function um, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, the um, public protected and private by just echoing out um, the uh, property inside so what we can do is we can say echo Alex balance now let's go ahead and see what's happened so at the moment we have our um, property set to public now let's what happens see what happens if we set it to private and we refresh you see that we've got a fatal error cannot access private property bank account balance in now you'll notice that we've got these two little colons here as well for um, a static value like this um, we can also do this like this so let's go two colons there um, it produces ex exactly the same result at the moment oh no it doesn't okay yeah so don't worry about that for now um, yeah we'll, we'll leave that out for now not the point of the tutorial so um, we're trying to access this private value but we cannot so let's change it now to protected and press F5 you see that we've now got another fatal error cannot access protected uh, property bank account balance in and uh, it tells us what line we're on so there are different naming standards to uh, distinguish between different um, different uh, private protected or, or uh, public so let's go ahead and say public uh, balance um, or we'll just say balance 
So a public variable will usually be denoted balance and then you will have camel caps um, but the, the first um, the first um, word if you like will have small letters so balance of account for example would denote a public um, variable so let's go ahead and uh, refresh this oh okay um, balance of account there we go let's just update that let's go ahead and refresh and oh no okay so Oh right, okay, yeah, so, sorry, um, let's go ahead and just put var in there, and refresh, so we've got 3,500, now let's go ahead and change this to um, underscore balance, okay? Now you can see that what ha what's happened is, we're saying, um, oh no, undefined property there, let's go, underscore balance. And refresh now the value stayed the same but we've got an underscore balance here and for protected properties we use um, an underscore and then a T so it's just um, a sort of a naming standard if you like for your variables to distinguish between them so um, it doesn't actually change anything but um, this is how we name different things so if you remember um, if you remember that public is uh, starts with a small b uh, well in this case and then we'd have camel caps afterwards um, a private would just have an underscore before it and a protected would have an underscore and T so you can see that with the um, with the public keyword we're able to access the variable outside however with the protected or the private we're not so let's go ahead and uh, call this method again so display balance and uh, let's go ahead and refresh to make sure everything's working properly. Okay, so 3,500. Now let's change this to um, private. So what's happening now is we're returning the value inside here, um, and it's a private data type, whereas before we, it didn't let us. Let's check what happens. Okay, so it comes up with 3,500. So it's allowed us to use this private balance um, within our class. So now let's go ahead and change this to protected and let's come and refresh and you can see that this time it still displayed it so you can see that while we're accessing things inside of our um, class protected and private are both going to allow us to do this however public is going to allow us to access it outside now why do we do this what's the reason for our public protected and private keywords now if you were to have a variable inside here such as the bank account balance that you didn't want to display allow to be displayed on its own you can set the um, type to private and this means that the um, the uh, integer as a whole or the variable in general as a whole can't be accessed outside unless a method within returns that value so for example balance we want to keep um, as a private value um, so we can't say um, we can't say echo uh, Alex balance so this line here will work because we even though it's private the uh, method inside of it is accessing uh, this variable we're not accessing it from the outside so we're calling a method that is accessing this variable or this property rather but however echoing out Alex balance is not going to work because um, we are trying to access it from outside and it is a private uh, property type so that's just just basically a bit on uh, properties just so you can get the hang of um, why we do them why we uh, give different property uh, types two properties and uh, a bit of a demonstration on what works and what doesn't.